Contemplate momentarily, do you think you are genuinely blissful? Usually, we suggest to ourselves that another occupation, wealthier income, or more leisure hours than we have would make life nicer, however, blissfulness does not happen exactly in that way. You shall learn throughout the chapters below that in reality, you currently possess the fundamental asset to get the finest life of your own at present, which begins with loving yourself. Study proven methods to host delight in your sphere and find by what means the alteration of the way of thinking can transform your actuality. Being full of inspiring profundity as well as perceptive counsel, this mentor leads you to sustain a nice life. Throughout the chapter below, you shall acquire knowledge of, way of utilizing the law of attraction, the reason behind agony being a chance, and, interatomic powers connection with bliss, Chapter 1 to the Law of Attraction, Our Ideas Determine Our Actuality, the writer's family was poor during their son's student years. As a result, he was aware of the fact that he could not pay for the holiday to which he was invited by his friends. Yet, after only a couple of weeks, a 500-pound check, corresponding to roughly $650, nearly the precise money the writer required, arrived in the post. What has occurred indeed? The writer thinks the factor named the law of attraction made the entirety of that existent. This notion suggests that increasing the odds of a nice thing occurring depends on your faith that it shall take place, this applies to the other side of the coin as well, the growth in the prospect of bad things occurring in place of nice can be caused by overthinking these and anticipating the most unfavorable things that can occur. In the writer's situation, the cosmos turned the writer's wish into actuality as a reply to him since the writer imagined for a long time that he could pay for the holiday. The writer figured out that although the law of attraction made him accomplished to a certain extent, it sometimes did not save the day. He noticed that bad sentiments continued to exist frequently with his good thoughts. So this mix, which was not a good formula for accomplishment, rendered the writer to consider himself puzzled and spurious. The law of vibration emerged as the writer's rule to fight this matter. This rule says that as soon as you disseminate a joyous and good aura, your actuality comes to be filled with good elements as well and you become a magnet for them. Although it may seem dubious, its foundations are truly scientific. Think that without the exclusion of our minds, all in the cosmos is composed of shaking atoms. Thus, all the rest, with the inclusion of our sentiments and thinking, need to shake as well. The writer thinks that while negative feelings possess lower vibrational frequencies, positive feelings own higher vibrational frequencies. Having the ability to affect your environment begins with touching this shaking. The atoms surrounding an atom begin to shake in equal frequency with that atom whenever it shakes. Thus, a greater shake of your actuality comes with a greater shake of your feelings. What about the outcome then? The outer sphere around you turns out to be merrier and fuller with love, chapter 2 The vibrational frequency can be managed. Even if this seems implausible, you share many aspects with green algae, to be explicit, a particular type of green algae that obtains vitality from the floor around it, in terms of feelings. You get your sentimental vitality from around you, similar to what that type of algae does. In truth, if circumstances are negative, the thing that could alter the state of your feelings is calling for good vitality from the environment, therefore, being with optimistic individuals more often is the primary path that makes you shake more, positive shakes spread from person to person. The transfer of loveful and joyous feelings to you happens should you enter among the companions who diffuse them. Bringing much more optimistic individuals into your sphere will get going as you begin to quiver within your companions' great frequency. Acquiring more optimistic mannerisms is another method of boosting your sentimental frequency. According to a study, just performing a smile although it is no reasonable time to do it causes your body to pump endorphins. The goodness hormones. Thus, make an effort to lift your lips upwards on a later occasion and reap the positive outcome. With a stunning posture, you can elevate your feelings as well. A finding by social psychologists demonstrates that performing only 120 seconds of strong physical stances each day increases the assertiveness amplifier chemical, testosterone, by one-fifth. A third way to shake more is that you may notice you require getting away from socialization for a while. 
beating a retreat from the turmoil of today's world can aid you in regaining energy. This is utterly beneficial even though it does not sound sociable. The word engentado, which means neediness for a time of solitude, is used by Mexicans to refer to wishing to be unattended after socialization. Lastly, for greater vibes, spare more hours for personal solitude in nature. According to the study, spending time in a natural environment is enough to charge you both materially and spiritually. Maybe you go for a walk in the park that is in your vicinity, or maybe you occupy yourself with your business in the green yard outdoors. In addition, in case the weather is bright, vitamin D, an organic compound, and serotonin, a natural hormone, which make you feel more stable, are bestowed to you via the sunbeams. Chapter 3 It is not egoistical to cleanse our lives of harmful individuals. We have shown you in what way being with optimistic individuals can increase your vibe and guide you to become your best self. There is another side to this coin, being surrounded by pessimistic individuals can bring you a sense of despair, insecurity, and feebleness. Although you may assert that your feelings, any person's feelings, cannot be crushed and manipulated by others, many of us are influenced by others since most of us haven't got a sufficiently firm spirit against external pressure. If someone puts you into this negative emotional state, do not blame yourself for causing it. However, do not forget that you shall be part of such individuals' negative frequencies as well if you do not move away from them. Unbeknownst to you, your actuality shall contain unhappiness and fury because you shall be scattering the negative energies of these people on the individuals around you. Consider your progress by imagining yourself as a seed. If the soil surrounding you is diseased, your prospect of becoming a healthy plant shall not be able to actualize itself, yet, abandoning your harmful manners is just as substantial as you ought to stay away from harmful individuals. Whenever we behave inappropriately, we frequently bring forth our negative emotions at the moment as alibis. We think that our state is terrible whereas other people are just feeling great and thus we can give up. However, not only do you no way know what these individuals around you are experiencing, but you can also damage them if you snap back at them because of your feelings. When a person blames our actions and words for their damaged emotions, we most commonly state that the situation is not as terrible as he, she thinks. We both want to be exempt from the impact of what we have done and we accuse the other party for the way they perceive our manners. In reality, it is not for us to decide if the emotions of other people are proper or not. Should you damage a person, do not deny your action and then strive to be nicer on further occasions. One of the substantial components of loving ourselves is feeling responsible for your behaviors even if this seems hard. No matter if it originates from you or another person around you, you are implying to yourself the fact that you are worthy of a manner other than a harmful one. Chapter 4 The thing that makes you more confident is the love of self. If you were asked what top 5 stuffs you hold very dear, what would be your response? Would you be one of these 5 things? Unfortunately, lots of us would not be on the list. The miserable deficit of love of self in our society is the reason at present, overthinking others' assumptions about us swallows us. If we are lovable to them or not. If we are esteemed or not. Nevertheless, we do not inquire if we have self-love or self-esteem, this generates trouble since the actual bliss and contentment do not originate from other people's opinions about us but from our absolute love of self, lack of confidence is a perilous matter that can distort your most intimate bonds. Just think about a lover who enviously checks the correspondence of his companion. Lack of confidence makes him envious maybe because of self-assumptions about being ugly and hated. There is a possibility that his bond with his companion is not going well due to his manners. Moreover, individuals who spread security and have self-peace are more captivating in the eyes of other people. Therefore, People shall become aware of your low vibrations and so shall consider you more challenging to be lovable if you have no self-love, although it is not straightforward to do since social platforms on the internet throw you pictures of famous people, embracing your innate physical appearance and being content with it is a component of loving yourself. Comparing is brought by such images and maybe you begin to think that you cannot compete with these celebs. These gorgeous people frequently have a hard time with misgivings about themselves just like us, although they appear like they are more blissful than us. 
An influencer once told the writer that she thought she had to enter an operation to make her body less flawed. Then the writer had a conversation with a person who follows that influencer, had misgivings about her physique, and put faith in the idea that being as gorgeous as that icon would make her life far nicer. The misgiving and sadness standing backstage of these alleged beau ideal pictures were things this follower did not understand, this is an ancient profundity. Yet, it merely demonstrates that the external is not the only substantial part. The more substantial thing is possessing a sturdy base for love of self to embrace yourself, Chapter 5 Sadness and Happiness are two distinct beginnings that you can select. While acquiring the knowledge of what self-love is is a completely positive thing, comprehending the fact that you possess two psyches is what you require to alter your living, the primary one is the conscious psyche. It stores entire mental processes that are in your awareness. The second one is the unconscious psyche. Everything that you assume and believe in is preserved down there, imagining conscious and unconscious parts of your psyche as the product and earth the nourisher respectively is useful. Momently, just think that things you believe are crops that growing under the surface of your psyche. Whether you possess convictions that shackle and give you sickened plants or aid and bestow you with healthy products. You must cleanse rotten crops to alter your actuality triumphantly, begin by looking at your convictions once again and pose a question that where they originate from. The writer found out that, in death, he pondered that it was written in individual's fate to experience a particular type of living, at the time of analyzing his convictions. Fortune and triumph are bestowed to a part of individuals, whereas others are subject to going through troubles. He had faith in the idea that your direction was unalterable. However, investigating the basis of this faith, the writer noticed that during his childhood, an authoritarian adult imposed it on him. The writer began to put faith in this conviction since other individuals did not come against this adult. The pessimistic conviction pushed the writer to assume that regardless of his deeds since he grew up in poverty, his life should be difficult at all times. Yet, this was only a subliminal prejudice, question the goodness level of your convictions as you view them. Are they going to increase the quality of your living? Search for clues to get rid of bad convictions. To give an example, the writer skimmed biographies of accomplished individuals whose beginnings were adverse. Just as we shall find out below, you can get a flatus from witnessing others' victory against trouble to move. Chapter 6 Great amounts of riches are not necessary for you to fulfill your visions. Your actuality will remain the same if you do not move with good faith and ideas even though such things are substantial taking action is the hard one for lots of individuals who desire to be more accomplished. Good activity equals devotion, firm effort, and giving a certain amount of endeavor even on days you prefer spending your time leisurely, most individuals fall flat in putting good aura into action but then ask the reason for not getting prizes. They say inwardly that there are excessive amounts of obstacles to overcome in front of their goals because of insufficient experience, budget, or time. As soon as they have what they need, they start to move, putting your target into precedence is the entire thing you require to attain it and while doing this. Be ready to give away from easiness. To keep waiting to be prepared is to cause a long wait, think about British businessman Richard Branson, who became an entrepreneur when he was 16 by founding a magazine. Since Branson was a dyslexic teenager, that was a fine success. Many individuals in his circumstances assume that they were not able to initiate such a business just because they did not have enough experience. However, he always went forward. He has established 400 distinct kinds of businesses so far, in many cases, a single way differentiates accomplished and unaccomplished people from each other, accomplished individuals do not quit working even in times of distaste. This is called fortitude. Even if you think your sources of afflatus and incentive are gone, you force the work forward. As time passes, these endeavors shall bear fruit. Maybe you wish to go to your targets, but you cannot get the mojo to initiate it by gathering your strength. Dividing your whole target into many little parts is an excellent method to defeat such immobility. Dopamine is a pivotal hormone for your central nervous system in terms of motivation. You obtain a jolt of dopamine, which gives you the prowess to go forward whenever you accomplish a thing.
swallowing your desires in small bites shall help you achieve your aims more often and fill you with dopamine in every accomplishment. Chapter 7 Even though the way events go is not in your hands, you can determine the responses that you give to them. There is no way you can pull the wires of your environment. Just as Richard Branson, despite your prospect of directing your behaviors and walking towards your targets in a good way. With regret, sore incidents ultimately wait for every person. However, you can love yourself by rejecting being a sufferer in the time of the most adverse events. This does not mean that you ought not to be unhappy while ill events are taking place since you possess an option to determine the way you see the case. Additionally, as has been discussed above, the things you opt for shall determine your actuality as they affect your vibrational power. Your vibes shall remain at a smaller frequency at times if you victimize yourself all the time. To put it in another way, the universe shall continue to behave you like a sufferer, conversely, should your agonizing incidents seem to you as chances for your development, you shall quiver at a greater frequency and captivate extra power at greater frequencies. You can expect nicer happenings in times to come. Agonizing incidents that may appear to you as brutal and pointless strengthen you even more many times. Agony is the hammer that shapes you into your best. Thus, make an effort to reverse how you see agony by saying that it does not come upon you but comes for you, according to Aristotle, the Greek philosopher, each outcome is the product of a cause. Years after an occurrence, you shall realize that all negative and positive things have contributed to your growth even if you did not understand when that incident occurred, to illustrate, the writer lost his father at a young age. During his early years, there were times when the writer, who spent his youth penniless, had no roof over his head. Yet now, thinking about the past, he realizes that it was his father's death that brought him to his present self, this death charged him to assist those who suffered. Not going through this agony would have made the writer an entirely dissimilar individual, operating love of self means embracing self-acceptance. It is embracing every event, good and bad, joyous and bitter, that you have lived through and that molded you. Each of them is an original part of the matchless life of yours, good vibes, good life, how self-love is the key to unlocking your greatness by Vex King Book Review, the cosmos grants you blessings whenever you give the environment positive energy. You can quiver more through self-love, being with unique individuals, and utilizing every day to advance to your targets little by little. Shout wishes of yours, as though your desires happen to be actuality aid them to be real by shouting them out daily. To illustrate, you may tell yourself each morning that you are more assertive of an individual, should you wish to increase your assertiveness. You shall toil more rigorously to deem such confirmations actual without being aware of it because they shall become established outside of your conscious psyche.